Yo, we're going to have a little bit of a jam on this tune, Sharp Dressed Man by ZZ Top. Now, if you're an OG fan of uh, viral YouTube videos, you would know this famous drummer, Steve Moore, who is famously known for this video, this drummer is at the wrong gig, and they play this tune, and he goes absolutely berserk with the most amazing um, stick tricks and all this really visually dynamic stuff that makes this tune really interesting for a, for a watcher and a listener, even though what we're playing... Bam, bam, bam. We're doing this the whole tune. We're chugging along. There's nothing super fancy about it. The only thing that's really, really important for us to catch is in the chorus. They come a-running just fast as they can. Cause every girl's crazy about a shop dress man. Right, that's the big bit, this this crash with the choke. Now, this is something that we should probably talk about really quickly. And this and the thing about it is that with this choked crash, um, we need to be up there to actually choke it, right? So we've always got the option to cr uh, choke with the same hand that we've used or with our opposite hand, whichever is really in a more comfortable position. Luckily for us, we come out of a groove and we don't have to do anything after the choke. It's not like we're having to do something really crazy and get somewhere else. Um, and in these two crash, crash, three and four, and I will change this up a little bit. I want to change it to three, oh, sorry, one, two, with a, with a hi-hat bark is the, is the sound that I'm going for. All right, so it's an open and a close in the same motion. One, two. Now, you'll also see that we actually are supposed to play one, one, two floor, but because I've only got two toms, I'm going to play one, one floor, floor, crash. So that bar would be one, two, three, four. Alright, we've got a couple other little little bits and bobs throughout. Keep in mind in the verse we do this cool thing. We play those two crashes there in every bar of the verse there until we get to the chorus. Uh, beautiful. Now, when we're in the guitar solo, this is a lengthy section. Uh, if you're looking up here, it'll say, play these two bars, and then play 17 more bars before we get to this little fill. Now, if you know the tune really well, this, this little fill actually happens right just before the chord change, the key change. And what we've got here, one and, oh, sorry, one and two and three and a four and. So if we're playing that with our groove, one, two, three, four, bop, bop. And your bass drum just goes one, two, three, four. And I would really just read the rhythms because what we've got is one and two and three and a four and. Right? Like that. Uh, and then in uh, a similar part at the end of that, that other phrase that leads us back, we've got one, sorry, one, two, bop, bop, bop. And that leads us back out of that section. Um, wonderful. Join me again and we'll play this tune. 